What is up? Welcome everyone to Enchanting Unpacking with another edition of Pokemon. And today's a special day. Why? Because today is the release, June Thursday, June 18th of, um, sorry, Friday, <laughs> June 18th of Pokemon Chilling Rains. Yay! So my local comic book store, uh, great, crazy, crazy story. Uh, typically they're really, they sell out within like two hours and you're only limited one of every product. Um, surprisingly they didn't put an Instagram post, but it called yesterday and they were like, yeah, we'll have it. They usually upload an Instagram post saying like what their policy is, how, what products they're going to have and limited amount of quantities per customer, which I think is so amazing. They only limit one per customer. Uh, so like if they have like tins, boxes or ETBs, you can only get one of, one of everything. I showed up there today at 9 30. Typically they open at 10, but I showed up at 9.30 in the morning because I was expecting to wait outside a line. And you know, I've been there before, so I know I probably would get one of everything. And to my surprise, there was no line. <laughs> Nothing, it was empty. I went in, I was like, well, maybe the line's inside of the store because usually the line wraps around the corner when there's a release. No, I was the first customer of the day. It was 9.40 in the morning, this morning, and it was the first customer of the day. I was like, well, your limit is only one of each box. He's like, no, it's as many you want. It's as ever, however many you want. I was like, what? He's like, we have plenty of stock. He opened up a case for me. I was like, what? And so it was selling at MSRP, $115 for the 36 pack booster box. So exciting. Now, um, my brother's the one who's going to be purchasing a lot more. So he went back to purchase more. So I have this for you today, this unpacking. Now, I'll be honest with you. I'm really not that excited about this, uh, this, this set unboxing. The only two cards I think that are really cool are the alternate arts of the Moltres and the Blaziken. They both look so sick. Snarlax is a cute secret rare too, a gold card, but really not too impressed with this set. And like the Pokemon hype has officially died. I think people have officially realized that when you make a $115 investment in a booster box, you must, you're lucky if you get one secret rare. If you were to sell that secret rare without getting it graded, which you can't get anything graded right now by PSA until like the end of September, um, first you have to pay for it. It's going to take like eight to six months to even receive that, even up to a year to even receive that card back. So currently they're not even grading anything. And then if it comes in a PSA 9 or 10, you're going to get more money. And of course, if it's a pristine 10, you're going to get a little bit more. But you're stuck at selling it right now in the secondary market and the most you're gonna make for it is like 45 bucks. Maybe the first launch, the release launch, if you get it on eBay or the secondary market in advance, you probably are gonna get like six, like $65, $70 for a secret rare. But after like that first two week hype, that's it. The market goes back down to like 35, $45 a secret rare. And all your V maxes are worth no more than like $8 and your regular V cards are only worth like three, $5. So. It's not worth the investment. <laughs> so I guess everyone who was not an avid Pokemon collector finally has realized like, yeah, this really isn't that lucrative. Yeah, it's only lucrative if you had like the older sets and you've had them graded, but um, none of these sets are really that lucrative. And these are so mass produced that people are just insane. But I love that now kids can go into a comic book store or go somewhere and actually purchase these. Um, I just, that, that's what it should all be about. I'm all about like collectors, not people who are looking to just, just hoard these and, 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 and try to make a quick buck off of them. Uh, so I'm starting to see, um, I mean, and this set isn't as eventful. So I'm really excited for the next Roaring Skies series that's coming on that EV set. They, those look awesome. But yeah, without further ado, let's get started with this video. Um, let's begin unboxing that. Um, and, uh, let's bring you in closer and let's see what we pull out on my latest box. If you haven't checked my latest unboxing that I did, I'll, 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 I'll uh, just go to my channel and you'll see the battle styles unpacking uh, my box. I pulled out the alternate art Ushifu and I pulled out the Hong, the Hong Doom, um, secret rare, like two secret rares in one box, which was amazing. And like that box was on steroids. If you haven't seen that video, it was an epic video. Uh, so without further ado, let's bring you closer in here and let's get unpacking. Before we get started as usual, don't forget to like and subscribe. It supports me tremendously on this channel. Um, and most of my viewers watch uh, my, my, my content based on um, my, uh, 
my collectible figurines and, and, and statues, unboxings and unpackings and reviews um, and hauls and checklists. But I really want to grow this with Pokemon as well. And so um, don't forget, it supports me tremendously. Give this a like, uh, comment below. Have, what have you, what's your experience of Chilling Rains? Uh, what are you most excited about? What set are you most excited about? What pulls have you gotten this year that have been amazing? Just comment below. Keep this going. Uh, share this video. I appreciate the support. And uh, most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. So without further ado, let's get started. Actually, we're going to angle this a little closer. I like this centered. Now it's centered. Yay. Now, I will be honest with you. I've been seeing a few reviews of these, and I'm really not impressed whatsoever with the pull rate. The pull rate on this set is awful. And knowing my luck, I, I, I typically will say that I'm quite fortunate. Um, <laughs> we're going to get two secret rares today. I'm, I, I know we're going to get something good in here today. Um, and as you, as you all know, my, um, trademark whenever I open up anything Pokemon related is I weigh the packs with my hands. There's this tech, I, I have a sensitive touch and I can typically determine which packs have something good and which don't. Nothing. A little better. No. No. A little better. A little better. No. Hmm. So we do this with every... We always do this before any... Oh, this one's really good. With any unpacking. If you've been, if you've been a part of this channel, you know that I do this all the time. And I kind of feel out these packs. These are my weak packs. I take them all out of the box and I weigh them first and I open up the weak ones first and I save the best for last. What I'm not going to be doing is a card trick today. You know why? Because it's stupid and it wastes time and I want to make this video 20 minutes long so this y'all get right to the good stuff. I know your curiosity is like, did this dude pull out something great or did he pull out crap? And that's what I want to bring to you today. Just want to get right to the good stuff. Mm, feels a little better. Feels good. That feels great. That's weak. That's weak. These are our weak packs. These are our stronger packs. We're going to save our stronger packs and we're going to feel them up a little later. So I'm putting these back in the box. These are the ones in my experience that feel just like they have a little bit more magic in them. And these are the ones that I'm um, estimating that are going to be garbage. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started here. As you zoom in, we'll get right to it. Um, yep, yeah, we'll get right to it. As you zoom in, let's see, let's see, let's see. We got an Arshifu. Womp, womp. Nothing else. And this is, I think this is an Urshifu. Okay, it's an it's an Urshifu um, reverse hollow, uh, uh, rare uh, reverse hollow. So I will take that. And again, we always put our cards right over near okay. next pack again we are not doing no card trick we're getting right to it and oh yay we got two hits let's start with the first one <laughs> we got a peony uh reverse trainer and we got a Sandiscone VMAX. We got our first VMAX. Yay, Impact 2. And mind you, these are the ones that I said that I'm not too impressed with. So I'm really excited about that. Yay, we did it. As always, I'm going to sleeve this. The centering looks amazing. And we are going to just put this in a hard sleeve as well. And that's our first pull of the day. All right. And we got a reverse rare wedding gloves. 
that's what they're called. They're called wedding gloves. Nothing about those gloves look like something you'd wear at a wedding. All right. And a reverse hollow. No, it's not a reverse. It's a reverse common. Venipede. And he's this guy's adorable. The Clover Push. They're so cute. All right. As expected, I'm not expecting anything good from these packs because I'm telling you, those packs over there, those feel amazing. Uh oh, we got another hit here. We have a uh, Obama Snow. Reverse rare and a yes, a Celebi V Max. I actually really thought this card was gorgeous. I've seen quite a few people already pull this card, but I think it's gorgeous. Centering is horrid. It's very heavy to the left, but nevertheless, we got two hits in this pack. Yay! There are no amazing rares in this set, um, but I do love the fact that we just pulled another VMAX. So I think we're destined for maybe two more VMAXs if we're lucky. I think you can get up to three in a box. Um, so yay. So far so good, right? I mean, and granted, these are the packs I said that were crappier. One, two, three, four, five packs in, two reverse rares, and two VMAXs. I think that's amazing. Um, let's keep at it. And we got a... Oh, these looks amazing. A Bannet. Oh, it's a reverse rare, too. We'll take it. And that is a hit. If you ask me, it's a reverse rare. Doo -doo. Okay, we got a hollow. Uh, the hollow we got in this pack is uh, it looks awesome. I haven't seen this one be pulled out. It's a Rillaboom hollow. Nevertheless, it is a hit. And we will take it. And a Melanie Reverse Trainer card. And a Scorbunny Common. Pack feels good, feels thick. And whatever that is, this is a Justified Gloves Reverse Trainer card. We got a double hitter here. We got Scroll of the Skies Reverse Trainer. But what we really got here was a hollow uh, in a, uh, oh, Frostlass, uh, hollow. Yay! Keep that there. Again, I'm not expecting much from this half of the box, but who knows? Who knows what we may get? We got a Thaki, a Thwake, oh, Kecleon. All right. Uh, 
Uh-oh, we got a hit here, and it looks like a rainbow or a full art trainer. Scroll of piercing and a honey full art trainer. I haven't seen her be pulled. Bet you she's probably quite common. That's a hit! <laughs> it's not the hit I want to see, but it's a hit. And again, she's she's heavy to the right. I mean, so far we're doing great. I'm not complaining. It's not the cards I want, but we're doing great. And we haven't gotten any V's yet. Oh, Kecleon, yay! I think he's adorable, and this is a reverse hollow. I mean, a reverse rare, sorry. I'm gonna keep all the reverse rares at the bottom. And we got a, uh-oh, we got a double hitter here. This is an impact energy and it's the reverse trainer. And we got a, yay, we got our first V. It is a Lipard V. That is a beautiful looking card. We have three more packs on this side. Uh, oh, we got a double hitter. This is a Swirlix. It's not a double hitter. We got a hitter, sorry, because you got a reverse in every pack. We got a reverse. Oh, I'm sorry, we got a hollow ingredient. This is an adorable looking card. And Pokemon. Bloop. All right. Our next pull is a reverse uncommon. Doesn't matter what it is because it's not what we're looking for. And we got a Tau Finny. Oh, it's a reverse hollow rare. Okay, we'll take it. And we're gonna put it never near. And now, these are the packs that in my experience were a little thicker. So let's go ahead and weigh these out really quick. Oh, that feels really good. Those kind of feel light. That feels amazing. That feels amazing. That feels amazing. That feels amazing. Feels kind of light. That feels great. That feels great. Oh, that feels great. I'm not sure about that one. Honestly, these all feel amazing. These felt a little, little weaker, so let's open these four. I like saving the best for last. On my last video, I bombed this entire pack. Uh, filling these packs uh, with that magic touch. Um, but let's see how we do today. So far, I would say I've done quite a crappy job because we've pulled out four... We got four heavy packs here. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. And we got the Antillion Reverse Hollow Wear. We'll take it. So far, no duplicates, which is awesome. I haven't gotten any duplicates. This set seems to be more of a, like a water, um, a water set, sorry. We got Avery. Nothing else here. Oh, 
<laughs> it's gas form. Oh, we got another hit. It's Hedoran um, Reverse Hollow. I'm sorry, Hedoran Hollow. We're going to put you over near. All right, sweet. So these are the heavier of the packs. I'm really excited for these. That one feels really good. That one feels nice. That feels good. That feels good. That feels good. That feels weak. That feels good. That feels good. That feels weak. <laughs> We're gonna open these. And we got a uh, Ampharos! Yay! We'll take it. It's a reverse hollow rare. Reverse rare, sorry. Porygon Z, right? sexy that card. It's a reverse rare. And we got a hollow, a hollow Thunderous. That's a great pack. Centering on this card is disgusting. Tree Hill and a Articuno, a Galarian Articuno V. Yay! I haven't actually seen this card be pulled yet. Oh, it's pretty. Centering's not that great. But it is pretty. Here. Okay, last three packs on this side. What do we got? What do we got? We got a. I'm going to get another hit here. A reboot and a Calyrex V. Looks like we saved all the last packs for all the V pulls. Bloop. Last two packs on this side. And we got a reverse for our ladybug and a hollow Galarian. Runner Regus? I have no idea. I'm not even going to try to attempt to enunciate that. Bloop. Oh, no. He goes here. Okay. We got uh, another Kecleon. And we got a Lycan Rock Hollow. We got two of these Kecleons. That's our first double that we get. All right, and now we're back. We're la we're down to the final seven packs. My experience with these is that they were very heavy, and I'm excited to see what we get. That's heavy. That's heavy. That's heavy. Heavy. I'm gonna open these two. My experience of them is that they're a little weaker. So far, I'm still we're missing more hits, and I'm hoping all these packs are hits, and we shall see. 
We got a Crawballer. Oh, we got a Hollow Porygon too. Okay, we'll take it. It's technically considered a hit. We're gonna move this over here. Yay! So we can keep them all on frame. Let's bring y'all up here. All right. I hate that reflection of that light right there. And now, we got a, oh, a Heracross. I haven't seen you in a while, buddy. No hits. Final five packs. That is, that is solid. That's also solid. Solid, too. Let's go with these two. Now, I'm hoping we get at least four of these packs or hits minimum. So far, this box, I won't say it's the greatest box. We got a Weezing Hollow. Uh, no, I'm sorry, Reverse Rare. Bloop. And let's hope these last four packs have something, because so far, I'm not too impressed. We don't have any secret rares. And if my card trick proves me right, it will be in one of these four packs. A Brawly and a Sand Skana. Alright. That's a hit. Um, these packs right here, these final three packs, feel like fire. They're very heavy. They're thick and juicy. I'm hoping that all three of them have hits in them. I'm still expecting one more v maybe two more v's which i don't want um i don't think we may get another v max but i'm hoping for a secret rare here they all feel so thick they really do so let's see what we get doctor and nothing final two packs All right, we got a Samina Reverse Rare. Wow. We are down to our final pack. Honestly, the only thing to save this box is a secret rare or any of the alternate arts that I was looking for, which is either the Moltres or the Blaziken. That's the only thing in my experience that will save this. Unpacking again my experience of this before we open this final pack is this set has been very the pulls on this have been very 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 difficult. Um, every viewing I've seen of this on YouTube, it's been just it's been the struggle central. So let's see what we get. We got a Grookey and absolutely nothing. Needless to say, this concludes. Our unpacking, um, it was trash. It was absolute garbage. Four Vs, two Vmaxes, one full art trainer. There's there was no secret rares in this whatsoever. Absolute trash. My experience of Chilling Rains, save your money. Was this worth $115? Absolutely not. Um, you can sell these for like $3 each. That's $12 back. <laughs> Let's say fifteen dollars, right? Let's just let's just say fifteen dollars. You're still shorted by a hundred bucks. You could probably sell all of these right here for a dollar each. <coughs> this honey trainer card will probably get you twenty bucks. Uh, you're down what now to like what eighty bucks in? Let's call this another fifteen bucks. You're seventy five dollars out, and then this Celebi V Max and this right here tops you'll get for them is like no more than eight dollars each 
Uh, so you're down by, we're down by like 60 bucks. So again, um, that's, that's the art of Pokemon. That's what this hype is all about. There really is very little hype to this. I don't understand why, um, people go so avid over this. I love the experience of opening them, opening alt layer packs, collecting them, that excitement of getting those amazing pulls and putting them in your binder, sleeving them up and collecting them. I think that's just such an incredible, um, experience and i enjoy you know people who play the tcg and who are avid players and fans of the game and 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 like build decks and 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 just enter virtual tournaments or in-person tournaments i think that's amazing um and that's what this should continue to be it shouldn't be anything more than that so thank you for watching today i hope you in somewhat enjoyed this video crazy that the first few packs we opened were the hits the final packs were not great at all so stay amazing stay awesome and i will catch you on the next one goodbye